Well, I finally ran into the first true test of this game, and that would be the Black Wind King. I swear this guy's on roids, but we had to fight him. I kind of lost a few times. Eventually, I did beat him down by utilizing every single spell and move in my book. And once we did that, the Keeper of the Black Shrine just gave us our Cloud Step spell. And this led us to the Black Bear Gwai fight. That would basically sum it up. I'm in Chapter 2 right now. Welcome to Click Fireball Media, home of hack slash PC and console games. I'm going to be playing this level in its entirety, trying to find every single secret that I can find. So it's going to be kind of a long video. And to help with that, I'm going to be leaving timestamps in the description of the video in case you want to skip some parts of it. Also, if you haven't done it, then I would appreciate that like, subscribe, and even slapping that notification bell. Now that I've said that, we're just going to be going into it. I'm right where I left off the last time. I'm going to be picking up... Hold on. This right here, once I can actually get into position. Once I did that, I started getting shot at. I don't know where they... I finally see them. They're on the cliffs. Gotta keep running. Ran into that tree right there, which slowed me down a bit. I'm just trying to get back on dry land. Before anything else happens. And I'm just going to be heading in their direction right now. I feel like taking them out. I mean, why not? They were already shooting me. I gotta get him back. There's one of them right now. This guy is kind of protecting him. It's a rat warrior. Or a rat why. And I just have to take care of this new archer. I don't know what type of animal it is just yet. Gotta have a better look at it. Voided those arrows. And I'm charging my weapon right now. Just tagged him too. Rat got got. Now I'm moving on. Had to heal a little bit. I still don't know what this thing is. Like a ferret? Some. It's some. I'm not going to be spending time for trying to figure it out right now, but... What I'm trying to figure out is where I need to go to get this archer. I know he's up here. Might be a couple of them. Did I take them all out? Alright, they might just be somewhere else. Because I don't see them no more. Let's turn back around. I see some torches. We're just going to be going through this opening. You know, I see something up here. Looks like a place to worship. And we just grabbed ourselves a lamb brew for drinks. So I'm going to be taking a look at that right now. Lamb brew. Each sip instantly recovers 20% of maximum health. For a brief moment after, slowly recovers 25% of maximum health. I think that's a pretty good thing to have. I only have one though, so I'm going to be holding on to it for a while. I might just not use it for a while. It might come in handy for something else. As for now, I'm leaving this place. Going to be following the torches. Never really fails me, so I'm not going to be changing that. I uh, see another Rakwai. Going to be engaging it in battle. Come at me, you fool. I knocked it back a bit. It has a little bit of life left. I'm trying to get behind him. Finally did it. Got myself 55 will. And I really can't go up there. It won't let me. The game says hell no. Nah. You ain't doing that. I'm like, what? Anyways. 
I see something down here. And this would be a brand new enemy. A rat warlock. This guy got magical powers, people. Better watch out. He might just surprise you. No more rabbits and hats. Nah, he got lightning powers. I gotta back up. These guys were trying to swarm me to death. I wasn't gonna let that happen. Alright, I got one of them. And I avoided the explosion. Hasn't happened yet until now. So I'm feeling kind of proud of myself. Got two jade lotuses. Let's run to this side. Suddenly I'm being attacked by another frog guy. A little bit of a combo. Didn't even have a chance to fight back. I'm not sure if I'm going to be going any further this way. Yeah, this just leads us to where we were just at. Alright, let's go this way. And what's down here? Seems like some sort of hidden area. Anything else I can't pick up here? That is one big frog. Alright, we're going to be dealing with him in just a bit. I just need to continue on this path. Suddenly, spirit particles. Gotta follow him. Another rack Y is down here, right by the shrine. Dude. Trying to block my path. I am not liking it. Broke his shield. Had to roll out of the way. I mean, it's not like other games where it allows you like one hit. You do get a couple of hits before you have to actually move. Just offered some incense. We're at Sandgate Village. Village entrance. Just rested. And I'm going to be going to cultivate spirits. I only have Guang Mao right now. I think I'm just going to be cultivating him. I don't know exactly what that does, but it's done now. And it's giving us confirmation that it's cultivated. Well, there's the move. A little demo. A couple of snakes pop out and start shooting projectiles. I haven't really used it too much, to be honest. Maybe once or twice. Most of the time, I save my mana for other spells. Well, I'm in craft weapons right now. Trying to decide which staff I'm trying to craft. Twin Serpent Staff and... Wind Bear Staff considerably increases the critical hit chance of the unveiling strike of Cloud Step, 4% boost to be exact. While Twin Serpent Staff moderately increases the damage of light attack combo finishers and massively enhanced in water. I'm just going to be going with Wind Bear Staff this time. I feel like it's a better fit for my fighting style. And I am getting out of the menu. Don't really feel like being in there anymore. And this would be the official introduction to Sandgate Village. See a whole lot of archers on top of that building right there along with a rack Y. Here comes the fire. Just deflecting it with my staff and I have to run back. Trying to draw this guy away from the archers. I find that makes it easier. Charging my heavy attack right now. Just gonna let him have it. Broke the shield. 
All right, I accidentally fell down here, but maybe it worked out for me. Since I'm away from the archers, accidentally transformed into the wolf guy, let me de-transform. Did that with R2 and circle, by the way. And I found something over here to gather. That would be a fragrant jade flower times too. They keep laughing. But I'm just going to be heading this way. I'm going to be getting those guys a little bit later on. Not going to be absorbing that life just yet. But I did find something else to gather. That turns out to be an enemy. That instantly attacked me when it popped out of the ground. That was great. I was like, what the hell was that about? Now I'm charging my heavy attack again. Got hit, but I smacked him in the head. Let me heal. These guys are tricky sometimes. I remember getting taken out by one of these guys a little bit later in the game, but that was another playthrough. Let me go ahead and absorb the life now, since I actually have a use for it. That almost filled up my gourd. Got 360 will. Going to keep collecting as many will as I can. It is the currency in this game. It's not gold or anything, but it is like gold, okay? It's the same thing. Well, it's equivalent in worth. Let's go down here. There's that giant frog. This is my third time facing him, but he is not going to be any easier. Thing G Goodpaw would be the name. John Toad with lightning powers. You don't want to mess with this one. Yet I'm fighting it. Trying to do my best. Using the pole stance, which is actually the best stance to have in this fight. Going in for a little bit of a combo, but he jumped away. Now he's sending a bunch of turns. Well, he actually canceled that out and went to a belly flop. Kind of surprised me. Avoiding all of this. And I didn't hit him, but I did successfully avoid that attack mostly. That's what you're going to have to do sometimes. Got a few hits in there. Now I'm going to have to back up. These things chase you. As you see, I'm getting hit. Takes off a fair amount of life. I might not make it out of this. Nope, I definitely didn't. After several more losses, I'm back. I'm not going to try to hide it. Going in for a couple of hits, had to move out of the way. That time I got kicked in the face. All right, continuing this combo while rolling around. Avoid that attack that time. Just going around the circle. After a while, you can't tell where to roll. Like if he's raising his right arm, then you're going to be rolling to the opposite side, obviously. Just use the mobilize, extending the damage that's being caused to him. It's down to 50% life at this point. Get the pole stance. Can't really stay on there for too long because he goes right into a belly flop. And I got attacked with a throw. Well, that took off a fair amount of life. I have to get on the pole again. Well, staff. I keep calling it a pole. Force the heal again. Transformed into my wolf wife form. Kind of prematurely. I wanted to wait until a little bit later. As of now, I'm just going to keep on going. I'm trying to do the best I can. Getting pretty close to winning. Got to use some heavy attacks here and avoid these projectiles. This should be it. A couple more attacks. Let's 
tag him. And bag him. Evil repelling medicament is ours along with 775 will. Tadpole as in materials. And we're done here. Don't really have anything to pick up. Running up the stairs and we'll just be talking to this guy. Notice him when we were running down here. Falling off time now. <laughs> you come at a good moment. One of my formulas was swallowed by a petty frog. Stay and help. A deity like myself will not short you. I mean, he did say he's a deity. Oh, how wondrous! You <laughs> could. Man follows earth, earth follows sky, sky follows Tao, Tao follows nature. <laughs> These common pills, I grant you. Hereafter, you may craft more yourself at the shrines. I must retrieve a furnace forthwith. Pray forgive my departure. Hey, that's what's up. We got ourselves some more evil repelling medicament and a new ally. Got to go in and gather this now. Was well, kind of low on life. Also got 360 will. Just going to be running over here. This would probably be the other path that leads to this place, obviously. Just going to be grabbing some more life. Gord is almost full now. Got another 360 will. Trying to see if there's anything else to discover here. Don't really see nothing. So I'm just going to be running back this way and up the stairs. I'm really liking how they did the glare in this game. It looks realistic as hell. But I found another Rakwai. Going to be fine though. Charged a heavy attack. Seemed to have done most of the damage. Now he's out of there. On to the next wolf guy. Well, my bad. Rakwai. That was the last level. Just tagged him. A little bit more, and it's out. Have a total of three sparks now, and opening this. Got some laurel buds, drinks, and soaks. And I'm just going to be going into a charged heavy attack. We're going to be fighting a double headed rat. Just landed the attack. We're going to be using a mobilize here. Just so I can extend the damage. Knocked back a little bit. It's almost over. Let me hit. Got hit while I was trying to do that, but we have taken out the rat. Hold on, let me just back up. I remember these things explode. Well, I didn't really roll back far enough, and I had got taken out. But the good thing is, we don't really have to fight it again. And I took out the warlock with one hit this time. What I do have to do is take out the second double headed rat, which is right over here. Just need to lure it away from this area, which is surrounded by archers. See all the archers up there? That could have been the end of me. I'm just going to be charging my heavy attack right now, running around, trying to gain some distance. Now it's fully charged. Just tagged him with it, and I used a mobilize again. Should just about do it. Okay, I got hit there. I need to wait for my stamina to actually replenish. Okay, I'm getting hit a little bit. Even though I was on that staff, let me back up. This time I'm running a healthy distance. 
That's crazy. The size of that explosion is impressive. Well, there's nothing else to pick up here. So I'm going to be running over to these double doors. Before I do that, is there something else to pick up here? We have something to gather. Licorice times two. Now I can't open these double doors. Son, I hear you loud and clear. How can I not know your sufferings? But before our master returns from the valley, we've got to tough it out. Tough it out to survive. The lads went out to see the altar the other day. Said it's stinking worse than ever. And covered in bones. Not from men or livestock, but littered in the remains of our kin. Curse that furry jackass. Ooh, just wait. Wait until Master hears about this. Hush. Hush, you fool. Our restoration. We can't say it out loud now. <laughs> Poor brother Adam. <laughs> What's that smell? Aye, that's fresh meat. Delivering itself all the way to this dump for our lunch. I am not trying to be on this guy's menu. He looks too excited. We are fighting the king of the flower sands along with the second prince. I don't know where the other princes are, but I guess we'll be fighting them in time. Gotta avoid this attack. And he just goes into a couple of clubs. The last attack is pretty tricky. Shoots out a projectile. I need to heal. I'm in trouble. Dodge that attack. And he was about to go into another attack until he rolled away. Just staying in full stage right now, which was a mistake. Got knocked out of it. He's trying to use a spell right there, but it looks like I'm out of immobilize. Using cloud step instead. Now I'm getting into pole stance. Just hit him with a heavy attack. He's only down about 35% on this life bar, so I'm not really doing too great. Uh, so now I'm getting hit with a bunch of rocks. That took me out. Unfortunately, I kind of wanted to get it done. On my first try, it didn't happen. Well, this is my second attempt. Trying to tag him with a charged heavy attack, totally missed. I was lucky I didn't get hit myself. Let's move here. All right, he got hit by friendly fire, which worked out for me. I'm dodging. I have to keep a pretty healthy distance between me and the second prince of the sand. He has wide attacks, but the range isn't too long. So keep a healthy distance between you and him. Works out pretty well. Just use mobilize. Can't really complete the combo since the king of the flowing sands keeps throwing rocks at him. Doing a lot better this time. Just moving around so. Okay, well, I got hit there, but I was moving around so I could avoid the rocks that the king of the flowing sand is throwing at me. Got him again with a charged heavy attack, but I keep getting pelted by rocks, so I have to heal again. Got hit there. Going in for another combo. Avoided the headbutt. 
He always stands there just for a little bit before he does that headbutt anyway, so it's pretty easy to tell when he's going to do it. Still keeping a pretty good distance. Coming in. Alright, I didn't really get any hits, but now I got the cloud step. He's mobilizing it. He's getting pretty close to being defeated. Almost time for me to use the wolf wagon. Down to my last bit of life. I think this would be time to do it. Alright, got into my wolf wagon form. Moving around. When all else fails and your life is pretty low, then it's a good time to use the wolf wagon. Which is what I'm doing right now. Moving around so I can avoid damage while inflicting damage myself. Again, this should be. I have defeated Yogwai Chief, the king of the kingdom of flowing sands and the sun. I'm hearing the song, and I'm starting to question whether we did the right thing or not. Especially with how the son got snatched away and the father running after they followed the rules, but we had to do what we had to do. I offered some incense to the shrine, now I'm resting. Everything is healed up. Need to reignite some sparks. So here I am. Have a total of four on me. Going to be going into staff stances and upgrading steel pillar. Thrust stance is something I want to unlock, so it has been un awakened. Looking at borrowed strength. Now offense and defense. I think I'm going to be upgrading this. Borrowed strength. Let's max it out. That's it. No more sparks to use. I'm exiting out of the shrine now. And I'm looking here and seeing an area that I did not see the last time. So I want to investigate. Alright, there's an archer in here. I want to stay out of this range. At the same time, I need to take this guy out. Leering him away from the archer. Or at least trying to. He wants to stay in the range of the archer. I know why he wants to do that. The game might have set it up that way. Well, I got hit again. I did not know the archer could get me from here. Now there's bomb. Well, let's go over here. I want to see if I actually have the materials to open these double doors. I didn't have it the last time. Can I use the tally? Required sternness of stone, keenness of tiger, which I don't have right now. That's going to have to come later on. For now, I have to go back into this cave and see what's in here. Pretty curious. Just picked up some purple wing G while avoiding. Well, I tried to avoid that bomb and didn't really work out, did it? Now I'm finding an open area right here. This looks kind of familiar. Oh, damn. Fighting another boss. Oh. 
Atone for your past now. No! Are you mad? Go and hunt the monkey. I'm your father. Holy shit, he just ate his dad. And now he's smelling around. He knows we're here. Gonna have to greet him. Get some of that. Got him with one headshot. Landed a little bit of a combo. Got hit though. Can't really overcommit with this guy. Short combos, move around as much as you can. That would be the trick. A couple of hits here while rolling around. Always prepared to move. Alright, let's get him again. Used to mobilize. Continuing this combo. And I got hit there. Giving some space. Which is another trick to fighting this boss. You don't want to be too close to him. It's a bad thing. Charged heavy attack. Just stunned him a little bit. Should have moved a little bit sooner. He landed. He missed his attack. Which gave us our opportunity to attack right here. Use a cloud step. Let me just dodge out of the way. Gotta keep working on this life bar. That would be the last of my board. Okay, I got hit again. Doesn't matter. Just going to do as much damage as I can. Use the mobilize again. Tag him with charged heavy attack. And I think this would be good enough. Time to go into the wolf guy form. Once I avoid that. Didn't really want to get into that form and then get knocked out of it. Well, here's as good of a time as any. Start attacking. few more hits now. The fire seems to be really affecting this guy. Got him. Yo Gwai Chi, first prince of the flowing sand, has been defeated. And we got ourselves a spark along with an R hat gold piece, which is a key item. Alright, let's go over here. This wall looks like it holds something, like it should be open. Is there a way to get in here? All right, you know what, maybe later. Let me run back up here and just backtrack. Not until we search this place out, is there anything else to pick up here? Really seem like it. All right, let's run back this way. Barely have any life on me. Let me just start rolling. I know there's an archer around here somewhere. Don't really want to get killed. And I think I avoided everything. If there was things being shot towards my direction, healing for a second time. And I'm just going to be going around and exploring the rest of this level. There is one more boss here. And I'm going to be fighting him next. As for now, I want to take out this rat warlock again. 
If I don't take him out now, he could be a problem a little bit later on. Charged heavy attack. Got hit a little bit, but it's not too bad. This should finish him off. And there is a rack Y here too. Well, they're both rack Ys. This one has a shield and spear. Didn't really matter though. Took him out with one hit. All right, let's go over here. Okay, they found me out. I need to start moving. Maybe towards here. This doesn't really look like the place where we should be. Let's go over here. There's a little bit of a secret place we're supposed to be going to. A monkey. Found it. Move now. Stop poking around here. If them two heads lay eyes on us, we're both done for. Our misfortune back home has led us to exile. We'd hoped to rebuild with the Rat Sage's guidance, but... But I saw that vanguard of his feasting upon... Our king has lost his way. Escape was the only choice. Let's the max two heads this are the out. Best fighters. And now, they are hunters of their own kin. We'll starve hiding here! Let's get out and get this over with! Why are you still here? Don't put me in danger. Be off! Let's keep I going. I never take part in slaying kin. <laughs> now that you have rid me of them, it's time for me to go. With a blinded king, we can never rise again. We must find the missing prince. The third prince? But he's against rats, remember? Look at us now. He won't even recognize us. Not one bit. The king honored rats. That's why the third prince left. Some claim to have seen him far away. Somewhere in Buddha's realm in the west. We must find it then. But where? And how? The king honored rats. Okay, That's he's repeating himself left. now, but Some we got a vital clue as to Somewhere where the Buddha's third prince is. And he's located somewhere in so Buddha's where? realm. And how? Well, I'm going over here trying to see if there's anything to pick up. Okay, I got spotted by an archer. Things are starting to fall apart. Got hit there. Let me see. Okay, the archer's starting to get annoyed. Like every single time I'm trying to attack this guy, I get shot up with arrows. And it's just not one arrow at a time. It's rapid fire arrows. Getting tagged again. Had to roll out of the way. Getting attacked by this rat with a shield and spear now. Somehow, I ended up here. Charging my heavy attack. I'm not sure why I'm doing this. It's not like I'm going to be making contact with any one of these enemies. As you can see right there, that was wasted. Had to heal again. Now I'm out here. I'm attacking the warlock. I'm trying to take him out. Finally did. Getting tagged by that archer again. And I took him out. Oh, what? You know what? That's the reason why I'm coming back and taking out this archer first. That was annoying. The only way to do that would be going over here and there it is. We can easily climb up to the roof and attack this guy, which has been annoying me since the last time. Now for the warlock, need to charge my attack. Right, that's pretty nice. I didn't know that you could do that in midair, but there it is. And he is out of there. Luckily, I was out of this guy's range. Dodged out of that attack. Broke his shield. And took him out. Alright, here is the location of the Earth Wolf. Going straight into the fight. Let's see if I can beat him on my first go. Avoided that attack. Getting an 
for a little bit of combo, but I got hit there. And it's going for another couple of strikes, which is usually pretty easy to avoid. Except if you roll right into the attack. And heal. Let's dodge here and here. Going in for a few hits. Well, that was a tiny combo. Alright, let's dodge that. And continue the combo. Actually finish the entire thing while using the mobilize. Second combo, and a charged heavy attack, which knocked it to the ground, going straight into a combo, got knocked out of it. Now I need to heal. Have half a gourd left, so I'm in good shape. Loud step, allowing me to actually get that attack on it. Dodging again. Getting closer now. Almost time to use the wolf wire, even though I don't really need it. I'm just gonna do it anyways, just because. Why not? I'm in wolf wire for him. Attack him away. Okay, well, ran. Couldn't handle the pressure. It's just trying to get away now. And it's been defeated. The transforming and grabbing the spirit along with a blood of the iron bull for materials. Now we have an earth wolf for a spirit trying to come up here. Don't really have anything to pick up. At the same time, there is a torch here. Let's look around. Breaking this. Getting a little bit of will. There's gotta be something here. Alright, I was wrong. There's nothing. Alright, that sucks. Gotta go back over here now. And we can actually open the door. We couldn't do this the last time. Alright, what is this? Being greeted with archers and rack-wise. There's a whole bunch of them running in here. I'm not sure if I can actually beat all of them. We'll see though. I have a full gourd on me. Full life. Just don't have as much money. Usually don't need it for lower level enemies, but you never know. I'm getting beat up. I couldn't even heal. That took me out. That was more than 50% of my life bar. That instantly just disappeared before my eyes. Well, I'm back here trying to win this battle this time. Got him with the charged heavy attack, backing up. Somehow I lost about 40% of my life bar instantly. I want to take out the enemy in blue flames. They're almost equivalent to a sub box with the amount of damage they cause and how much life they have. Jumping around so I can avoid his attacks. At the same time, I couldn't avoid anything. Just got hit. Forced to change into my wolf wife form so I can actually finish these guys off. They were getting close to beating me again. And I seem to have taken out everything. Let's collect the spirit. And we got ourselves a rat archer. They don't really look like rats. I'll be honest. They look more like ferrets or something. 
Jade Lotus has been collected. See another Rakwai here. Let me charge on my heavy attack. Then we'll greet him. It's time to go. Broke his shield. A little bit of a combo. Took him out. That was that. All right, let's go up here. Gathering this, aged ginseng. Don't really have anything else to pick up there, so I'm just going to be running back in this direction towards the open doors. I remember there is a treasure chest here. Well, close by. This would be the entrance where we initially came in. I'm not sure if there's more rat archers on the roof, but I'm just going to be taking my chances right now and running towards the chest. Just healed to be sure. Now I'm opening the chest and we got three tiny pieces of gold and one small piece of gold. All the rat archers seem to have disappeared. And we have done our job. Maybe I should go back this way. I feel like there's more things to pick up in this level before we move on to the next one, which would be Fright Cliff. I think we have to go back this way. While I'm here, I need to pick up this. Purple Lingji. That's for crafting and stuff. Another Rakwai we need to take out. Hi. Charging my attack. He spotted me. Now I need to move before the archers start shooting at me. This is good enough. And I took him out. One attack. The trick to take him out with one attack is to get behind him when they have the shield on. They are completely defenseless. Defenseless at that point. But we're greeted with another Rakwai that I need to take out. That was that. We can absorb more life, which I need. Breaking that. Getting five extra will. Now I'm going in here. Breaking everything that's inside. Got myself 33 more will. Everything counts. All right, let's take care of the archers. They're the last ones in this level. Just charged my heavy attack. Hopefully this is a one-shot kill. Got what I wanted. Now I need to move out of the way. Almost got shot down there. Moving on to this archer, took him out, and there's one more left. Got hit with a bomb. I still don't see how there are rats. Is there anything to pick up here? Don't really see nothing. All right, well, let's go over here. Gathering this, we got two pieces of licorice. There seems to be another house there. Let's run up here. Nothing to gather from the land. But I do see a chest. That's what's up. Opened it. And we got ourselves another Blood of the Iron Bull for materials as well as four pieces of silk. Alright, let's jump down here. And I think we're done. Except for one more archer. Going to be going back onto the roof. There he is. Selecting him. Can't really get him with that attack. And I fell off the roof. Okay, I gotta do this again. This is unacceptable. I should have taken him out. Alright, well, I'm trying this again. Getting closer this time. He was trying to say time to die. 
Well, look what happened there. Let me go ahead and grab some life. Had to heal first, though. Got 360 will. Almost fills up my gourd. Now we can move on. Feeling satisfied. Clear the place out. Nothing else to pick up, I don't think. I might have missed something. I'm not sure. But let's go this way. Here's a bridge we have to run across. Let's run up here and see if we have anything to pick up. I don't see nothing. So I'm going to be running back down here and gathering this. Which is two pieces of licorice. There's our new enemies. Two of them, in fact. One of them is essentially some sort of humanoid demon that's stuck inside a rock that has eyes. Took him out with one hit. There's some life to pick up, but we have to deal with another new enemy. Before I get close enough to him, I'm just going to be charging here before I activate this enemy to move towards me. Knocked off most of his life before he actually gets a chance to attack. Okay, I have to roll away a little bit. That'll be it. We took that thing out. Got 339 will along with a little bit of gold and stuff. Mine core for materials. And even more will. Let's keep going. Before I do that, hold on. Is there anything else to pick up here? I always want to make sure. Alright, nothing. Can I break that? Nope. All right, let's run through this opening. We have officially arrived at Fright Cliff. I think this is one of the hardest levels I've faced so far. I mean, I didn't really get too far after this. So this is kind of fresh to me still. Got hit by his charging attack. Took off about 40% of my life, but I have a lot of life in my gourd, so I'm all right. New Archer. Took him out. Let's go over here. I see a Buddha head. And it looks like we're supposed to be examining this. And we got ourselves a Buddha's eyeball. We're supposed to keep collecting these things, but I need to activate this shrine. Let me go ahead and do that. Now let's rest. And as you probably know, this is the place where I usually like ending an episode. So I'm going to be doing that. A new episode is going to be released soon. If you haven't done it, then I would appreciate that like, subscribe, and even slapping that notification bell. I want to thank you and everyone that has subscribed to the channel. I do appreciate it. Until next time, I hope you have a good one. Peace out.